story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. How long have life groups been a part of your lives? For us, um, it started here at North River before there was a North River. Uh, we were a part of a central class at West Brandon Baptist Church. And, uh, along with Jen and Jay Carriker, had the idea of, of starting a small group out here in Parish to try to reach our community here and our friends that were here and, and the people that we knew here in Parish and just try to get them connected and, and really to, to know the Lord. And um, so that's really how it started for us and what started with four, you know, grew to eight and 10 and, and so on and so forth until we realized that, um, you know, this is this is something that, that definitely can work. Um, so it's, it's kind of neat to see kind of how it started and, and kind of where, it, where it's come today. How have life groups enhanced your sense of community in the church? I feel like being in a life group is how you connect with people. Um, it's how you build relationships. It's, it's, you know, it's who you go to when you run into problems or who can come to you if they need anything. Um, being there when babies are born and when there's a death in the family, they're your support group. Man, I think that's absolutely a, the value of a small group is being able to have that group of people that you can lean on when there's bad times, but also that group of people you can laugh with and carry on with and have fun with and go to movies and ball games with and, and just have a sense of a family almost, uh, an extended family, so to speak. But, but really that's what a small group brings is just that, that, that extended family feel because um, you're meeting and talking and sharing your heart each and every week. Um, so it, you, you can't help but become you know, closer that way. What role have life groups played in shaping North River? I mean, I, I really want to say, I certainly initially, and I, and I really want to, I think the same today is that it's it's the backbone of, of North River. I mean, it's kind of really the, the I don't want to say the heartbeat, because I think Jesus is kind of what drives all of us, but but I, I think it's really where you, you get connected, you get to know one another, um, but also you, you, you feel like you're a part of something something more. Anytime there needs to have something done within the church or you need to get word out to people in the church, um, it's pretty easy just to contact those life group leaders and then now 50, 60, 80 people get to hear that, that information. Um, so I, to, to me, I think it's just a, a, I mean, really the heartbeat of, of, of who North River is and, and hopefully who we continue to be. That's how we started. Let's say I'm not in the life group and I'm attending North River. What encouragement would you give to me in regards to being a part of the life group? I think to really feel a part of the North River family, it helps to be in a life group, to build those relationships and get to know people in your church family. I mean, it's who North River is, and that's how you're going to build relationships and deep, deepen your walk with the Lord. So, so if you see us or other small group leaders on Sunday morning here at North River, and we haven't asked you to join our small group, you need to come up to us and say, why haven't you asked us to join your small group? I mean, but, I mean, I, I joke, but it's as much of our, our job as leaders to invite you, but on the same token, we, we, we certainly want to welcome and invite um, any and all of you who, who are interested in joining and becoming a part of a small group or a life group. Um, we certainly encourage you in that direction.